Yeah, Brian, it really is disturbing to watch. And since the police chief wasn't taking questions at today's news conference, I reached out to two canine experts. They took a look at the video and shared their thoughts. Yeah. Video emerged showing a Salisbury canine handler scold his dog for exiting the cruiser. But what he did after is now being investigated. It shows the officer clipped the dog's leash onto its collar, swing it over his shoulder before he slammed it into the car and appears to hit the dog. Other officers are heard saying there are no witnesses. I think this was an example of something that you should not do. Roy Taylor has been a canine handler for more than 20 years. He's been a police chief in three different North Carolina cities. I mean, he's cutting off that blood supply and air for several seconds, and then by throwing him in the vehicle the way he did, you know, he, he risks causing some cerebral spine injuries to the dog. Taylor says there are a number of things to factor into this video. The health of the dog, the price of the dog. $20,000, $25,000. And the potential damage to the dog's training. Now going forward, the dog's going to have to reconsider whether he gets out of the car at all. Is your camera on? In the video, you can hear the other officers ask if their cameras are on. Hey, you can put my cameras on and then request they be turned off. The dog Zool and the officer are separated while an outside agency investigates. Chief Jerry Stokes says the officer's actions might have been part of training tactics. When a canine is non-compliant with the handler's commands, the uh, handler is trained to correct the dog. But the actions of the handler were not appropriate. Kyle Hyen, a former police officer who trained dogs for law enforcement agencies, has concerns beyond Zool. You respond with that much frustration. It just makes you wonder what that officer is going to do in a real life situation. Chief Stokes would not release that officer's name, nor would he confirm or deny if any other officers are under the microscope. Reporting live in Salisbury, I'm Morgan Francis, Fox 46.